एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन वॉट बिग डेटा इज एक्चुअली एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव सीन द डिफरेंट रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ इट आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बिग डेटा दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस आर दी बेस फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज इन द बिग डेटा so the characteristics of big data are given by five v's five words which start from the letter v first is the volume volume represent the huge amount of data that is created next is the variety it represents the diversity in this particular data next is the value value represent that how much important the data is now it can be important to organization or a particular user the next is the velocity it represent the speed with which data is created in a particular span the next and the last v of big data is veracity veracity deals with the quality consistency and trustworthiness of that particular data so this are the five characteristics of big data we are going to look into all of them one by one so let's start with the first characteristic volume this particular characteristic is related with the enormous size of the data that is present at this particular date moreover it is increasing you can see that i have attached a graph which has been created according to a study so you can see that long back in 2000 how much small amount of data was getting created and now in 2022 as well as in the upcoming years the data will be generated exponentially because these data comes from different sources it can be social media platforms e-commerce business processes that we have seen in the previous video all the real life examples of big data now each of these sources creates data that adds up to a huge volume hence this represents the first characteristic of big data which is nothing but volume now let's move on to the another characteristic of big data which is variety so data collected from different sources can be structured unstructured or semi structured you might have heard of these terms if not then don't worry in the upcoming videos we are going to cover it in detail so for now just remember that structured data is the data that is ready for modeling and also for analyzing next we have unstructured data which is very much scattered data which cannot be straight away used for analyzing or reporting and third is the semi structured data which lies in between structured and unstructured we will look into detail of this in the upcoming videos now the data that is collected are of different formats some of the formats are given below first type of data that is collected is the text files which can be of the formats pdfs docs pptts etc next we have audio files which can be of the form mp3 wav or dat it can be of other forms also next we have the video files the data that is generated with the help of video the videos can be of mp4 it can be of mov avi etc these are just the different formats from which the videographic data are generated next we have image files so images can be of the form png jpg tiff pcx etc these different formats of images are basically based on the compression rates and the quality of the images so you can see that different post comments reels and different videos on youtube are responsible for this generation of this particular data next we have emails emails which contain the textual data it can also contain different attachments now you might know that this attachment can be of different types it can be text files audio files video files image formats basically it can be a combination of all the different types that is mentioned here i hope you have understood the variety characteristic next we have the characteristic value 
of big data. It is basically the benefit that the organization may or may not get from that particular data that they have got from different sources. The term big data is usually used to benefit the organization or company. So if a particular data is giving some benefit to the organization, then obviously it will increase the value of that data. For any data that is considered to be valuable, the answer to the following questions should always be positive. So first question is that, will the data be helpful to achieve the company's aim? So will the target be achieved with the help of the concerned data? If yes, then obviously the value of the data is way much greater. If the answer to this question is no, then there is no use of using this current data. Next question is that, will it help to magnify the growth of the company? So basically, company's growth is dependent on good and valuable feedback from its users. So if the data is helping to achieve this, then obviously the data is valuable. Next characteristic of big data is velocity. The name itself tells that it is related to speed. Velocity refers to the rate of speed with which the data is generated. You can see that in the previous video we have seen that data is generated at every single second. Data generally flows from different sources such as social media. You can see that this determines the potential of data that how fast and continuously the data is extracted and then processed to satisfy the demands of the organization. So even if the data is very much valuable, but if it is not up to the mark according to the quality and trustworthiness, then it won't be able to satisfy the demands of the organization. For example, big e-commerce companies like Amazon constantly tracks the activity of the user and through that activity, it, it is going to analyze and process this particular activity at a faster speed. So, so this is where the term velocity plays a huge role. The processing speed of the actions that are done by the user are so rapid and fast that it is done in milliseconds and through which by analyzing it, the company makes much better decisions and ultimately it will help the organization to grow. The last characteristic is veracity. This refers to the reliability and the correctness of the data. Even if the data is huge and the quality of data is very nice, even after that, if the data is not reliable or correct, then it will create a lot of chaos. Usually while the data is captured, many uncertainty and inconsistencies are found in it, which makes the data incorrect and unreliable. Because of this, the data processing becomes very difficult and therefore veracity term is very much important as a characteristic of big data. So these are the five V's or characteristics of big data. Understanding the characteristics of big data is a key to learn its usage and applications. So I hope you have understood all these characteristics. If you have any single doubt, then please comment your doubts and suggestions. I will be very happy to solve it. For more such videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you.